for tonight's elimination challenge, you will all have to replicate my pan-roasted sea bass on a bed of the most luxurious cauliflower puree you've ever tasted, served with caramel ice, beetroot, and the beautiful sauce vierge. Oh. Now. We're getting serious. Step one, sharp knife. Start the preparation with some caramelized beetroots. Don't cut them too close to the roots, otherwise they'll bleed. Drizzle with olive oil, and then two nice little pockets into the oven. 20, 25 minutes. Now, cauliflower puree stalks off. Add your cauliflower in. Poaching cauliflower in milk helps keep the cauliflower bright white. And then put them on to boil. From there, tomato. This is the base of our sauce vierge. Get your water boiling to go in. And just spin the tomato around, take out your core, and in the water for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then into ice water. Now, the ice water helps you get that skin peeled immediately. Whoa. And then slice it into four. And then from there, use the tip of your knife, come under, and just remove those seeds. And look, nice little circles. From there, two tablespoons of olive oil, fresh lemon juice. Add tomatoes into the sauce and fresh mint. Mix that up, let that sit there. Now, sea bass. Take your fish and just score the skin nice and gently. Don't go through too deep. A touch of salt into the pan. 90% of the fish will be cooked skin side down in order to get that really nice and crispy. Chef Ramsay makes this look so easy. Cauliflower is cooked. Strain it. Everything's like perfect. I hope by the end of this competition, my skills will be just as good as his. Look at that. Oh, that looks perfect. So that is beautiful and silky. From there, beetroots. Oh, that smells beautiful. Slice it. Beetroots in, touch of vinegar. That will give a really nice shine. <laughs> and now, the fish. Beautiful. Get that butter foaming, and it just sits there for another 10 seconds, and then turn the gas off. And this is where it starts to take shape. Caramelized beetroots on. Then fill in those gaps with that wonderful puree. Just put a little touch of puree from my sea bass. Beautiful. One more little garnish. Candid striped beets. Beautiful. Little chips. Finally, dress the plate. One side there, and there we have the pan-roasted sea bass. With an amazing cauliflower puree.